What's up guys, my name is Brandon and welcome back to the 27th jailbreak update video and we have some amazing news to talk about today. So in this episode, we're only gonna be talking about one thing and one thing only, the iOS 10.3.1 jailbreak that was just demonstrated by the Pangu team. We're gonna be talking about everything surrounding this jailbreak to make sure you are not confused at all. So yes, it's time to get hyped because Pangu did demonstrate an iOS 10.3.1 jailbreak today in China. So before we talk about the actual jailbreak itself and my advice for you to do, Let's talk about everything surrounding the jailbreak, where it was, you know, where they demonstrated this at, who took the pictures, where were the pictures uploaded, is it legit, things like that. I've had a couple people ask me about this already, and I'm sure a lot of you are also wondering, Mosec 2017 has not happened yet, so where exactly did Pengu give this demonstration for the 10.3.1 jailbreak? Well, Pengu actually demonstrated this 10.3.1 jailbreak at their own conference, which is called Janus. And it appears that this is actually the first year of it being held, because they did have like a mini Janus conference at Black Hat. Asia in 2016 to, I guess, test the waters and see, you know, if it would be something people are interested in. Now, I've had a couple of people on Twitter say that these pictures may be photoshopped or something like that, but I can tell you right now that is not true. These are legit photos from Spark Zhang. Spark Zhang is a trusted community member who is a part of the Alibaba team. He's actually a security researcher for Alibaba, and he has been a trusted source in the jailbreak scene for a while now. So yes, these pictures are legit. They were posted on Weibo over in China. So obviously us US people would not know about Weibo, but they were posted over there from Spark himself. Now, if you want to find out more about this Janus conference and Spark himself, I will leave the links down below so you can check that out. And also, Pengu was never actually dead. They've actually been active on Weibo over there in China. They just haven't been active on Twitter. So, you know, us US people would not know they were active because they are actually active on Weibo. But I would expect them to put some kind of announcement or something on Twitter when a 10.3.1 jailbreak does get released or if they're saying it's going to get released. They're going to put something on Twitter, I'm sure, when that time comes. Now, let's talk about the 10.3.1 jailbreak jailbreak itself. So first of all, I expect this jailbreak to work for iOS 10.3 and 10.3.1 since they are both on Apple's new file system. Now, of course, iOS 10.2.1 is another possibility, but for now, I think 10.3 and 10.3.1 are for sure going to be able to be jailbroken using this exploit. Now, I don't think this is going to be a fully untethered jailbreak. I think it's going to be a semi-tethered or a semi-untethered, whatever you want to call it, jailbreak where after you reboot, you're just going to have to re-go into the Pengu or the PP app, whatever it ends up being, and then click re-jailbreak to re-jailbreak your device. And of course, it's also the same on the Pengu jailbreak. It's the same Premise. There's also a good chance it could be a no computer jailbreak, but of course we just don't know at this point. And referring to the untethered jailbreaks, as I've said before, there's a good chance that the iOS 9 untethered jailbreak from Pengu could very well be the last untethered jailbreak, you know, ever, possibly ever. You know, I don't know about that for sure, but you know, the way it's looking right now for jailbreaks, it just looks like, you know, semi-tethered or semi-untethered is the way to go for the future. So now, if this jailbreak does get released, what devices will it work for? And I'm thinking it's going to work for all 64-bit devices, including the iPhone 7 and the 7 Plus. Now, I say the 7 and 7 Plus because this jailbreak was actually demonstrated on an iPhone 7, which is huge. And I say this is huge because Luca and crew could not bypass the KPP on the iPhone 7 on iOS 10.2 and above. And this is why the Yellow jailbreak or the Mock Portal jailbreak jailbreak only worked for 10.1 and 10.1.1 on the iPhone 7 and not 10.2 and above. So that's great news for iPhone 7 and 7 Plus users. Now, the big question I've been getting asked a ton is should I update to 10.3.1 now? And my answer is simply no. And here's why. Number one, this is not a guaranteed release. And although I do have a good feeling about this jailbreak actually getting released, it is still not guaranteed. Because if you remember last year at Mosec 2016, a similar thing happened, not really similar, but Pengu did demonstrate a jailbreak for iOS 10 beta and it was not released. But I say it's not similar because that was for a beta jailbreak and uh, the beta was actually using an older exploit and the exploit was patched in a later beta version. So it's a little bit different since 10.3.1 is not in beta, it's the final version. So it's a little bit different and I can't see it, you know, just not getting released after they demo it. And number two, iOS 10.3.1 will still be signed for a while. So since iOS 10.3.2 is not out yet, that means that we're going to have at least a week until after 10.3.2 gets released to the public to update to 10.3.1. And that time frame comes from my own research with that spreadsheet I made where I showed you guys that Apple does not stop signing a previous version of iOS until at least seven days after the next version. So at least seven days after 10.3.2 gets released is when they'll stop signing iOS 10.3.1. 
10.1. So I've also had the question, why would Pengu demonstrate a 10.3.1 jailbreak and not a 10.3.2 beta jailbreak since 10.3.2 beta is the latest version? And that's an interesting discussion that could also predict when Pengu will release this jailbreak for 10.3.1. So it could be because iOS 10.3.2 patches some of the 10.3.1 exploits that they're using, which would mean that this 10.3.1 jailbreak will be released very soon. Now, if it's simply because they're waiting on 10.3.2 to be released to the public, then I would not expect this jailbreak to get released if it's going to get released until after 10.3.2 drops to the public. So the bottom line is do not update the 10.3.1 just yet. A jailbreak release is not promised. You know, I do have a good feeling about this, but it is still not promised. It is still not guaranteed. So I do not want you guys to update the 10.3.1 just yet. But of course, I will be making a video when I do want you guys to update the 10.3.1. And of course, when the jailbreak gets released and all that good stuff. So make sure you keep it locked to the channel. Now, with all of this being demonstrated at the Janus conference, this really makes you wonder what Pengu has in store for most like 2017 in a couple months. And I'm thinking it's going to be an iOS 11 beta jailbreak, which would be amazing. And of course, stay tuned to the channel. I will be making a video when that does happen at most like 2017. So there you have it, guys. Make sure to give this video a huge thumbs up if you're anticipating and excited for this 10.3.1 jailbreak. And even if it isn't a guaranteed release, at least we now have proof and confirmation that 10.3 and Apple's new file system can be jailbroken. And not to mention the iPhone 7's KPP can be pwned on 10.3 or 10.2, I should say, and above. But anyways, guys, thanks again for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe for a lot more news on the 10.3.1 jailbreak. So thanks again for watching, guys, and I'll see you real soon.